quit the band, started a, the first drum school in, in my town in Sacramento. Um, we had obviously drum lessons at music shops, but we didn't have a dedicated drumming school. So my wife and I started our first business called the drum lab and hired a bunch of teachers. And that's where I taught full time. And from that place, right around 2005, uh, the company YouTube launched. It was before Google acquired them. And to us, it was seen as like Dropbox. It was a place that I could put video content and not get charged for it. Hmm. So what I would do is if I was going to go do like three or four shows with a different band or fill in and I couldn't make it to my student's lesson, I would just film their lesson with a camcorder and put it up on YouTube and then give the parents the link and say, look, I can't make it to your son's lesson on Friday, but here is his lesson. And it, supposedly only he would see that there were no private links back there. You just uploaded to YouTube. That was it. Uh, but right. who the hell is going to look for a drum lesson on this new website? Um, and then all of a sudden that stuff started really kind of happening for me. And then, you know, a year or two into doing that, well, a year into it in 2006, Google acquired YouTube and then it started getting some more steam behind it. There still really wasn't any drum teachers on YouTube yet. But I, that's when I started making content for YouTube instead of my students. And then it just exploded. And that was kind of the aha moment between that and Steve Jobs launching iTunes, which essentially broke up CDs into downloadable content one song at a time. You don't have to pay 12 or $15 for a CD you might not love. You could just buy the song you wanted. That's when I decided, okay, I think I'm going to sell this business and start a new business called mikeslessons.com. I'm going to move everything online. I'm going to take these $50 DVDs that are being sold at the drum shops. And instead, I'm just going to sell the chapters. I'm going to film all this stuff myself, but I'm going to sell the chapters for 99 cents a piece because that was the same price as a song on iTunes. So I felt that people would be used to it. Yeah. Keep in mind, at this point, I'm like 27 years old and I know nothing about business. <laughs> I was like, this will work. <laughs> um, but honestly, I, I didn't think of it as like, I'm going to sell my business and this will be bigger. I really, I just thought I need to sell my business so I can focus on this. I was still teaching out of my house to pay all my bills. Um, and then, yeah, that was kind of the beginning of, of Mike's Lessons.com and what became, you know, online drum education at the time. 